Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is a 15 part video series showing you how to create CABRT house. Let's get started. So to start, let's open a new architecture template. So click on new and then drop down and then click on architecture template and then press OK. So as default, we start on level 1 in our floor plan. So here, um, we have this elevation tags. And then we're going to check our template. So we're, I believe we're using millimeters in terms of our um, dimensions. And then we're using metric here. So now, what you need to do first is to click on save and save this to the file area that you want to. So I'm going to click save. So for now, I'm just going to name it as house. And then here, before you click save, click on option. And here is the uh, amount or number of save files that you want to save um, if you're a beginner you can keep it at 10 and then if you're intermediate or if you want just one you could just put one so for me i'm just i like putting five so that if i make a mistake i can always go back to that folder or file so now just click on ok and then click on save so now that we save our file um, let's go and click on the grid line um, grid line is located under architecture and then around here on the right side you can even type in gr so gr is the keyboard shortcut and you'll be able to add grid line now but we need to add it um, we're gonna start by adding it vertically so I'm gonna click below around this area in the middle of where the elevation tags are so I'm gonna click here going up and then I'm gonna put in number one so number one is already added right here what I usually do is press escape and then escape again because I could add in multiple grid lines now and the sequence will be automatic meaning that once I add one the next one will be two and three and Revit will recognize that so I'm gonna select the grid line number one you can type in CO or it will be under modify and th this icon so co now it has this uh, dash line around it meaning that you'll be able to uh, grab this now and then copy but before you do that make sure to check multiple first so that we could add multiple grid lines instantly so now I'm gonna grab this and then I'm gonna put it on the right side and then I could type in my um, dimensions so I'm gonna put in 4970 2000 for the next one so that's number three and then 482 or 4830 So now I have one, two, three, and four grid lines on vertical. I'm gonna press escape multiple times, zoom out, and then next I'm gonna add in my vertical hor um, grid line. So again, type in GR. So that's grid line, keyboard shortcut. I'm going to click on the right side first 
before going to the left so right going to the left and then I'm just going to add it right now and then press escape multiple times if you notice this is number five but for us we're going to change it so you can actually click on the grid bubble now and then you can type in capital A and then now once you copy this and add multiple horizontal grid line Revit will recognize it again and it will give you B C and D so now press escape and then escape again and then select this grid line click on copy so type in CO and then grab it again I'm gonna pull it down and then I'm gonna start adding or typing the dimension so five three zero zero this will be three nine seven zero enter and then we have five 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 zero so that's the last grid line press escape and then escape again um, so right now I want my grid line to be fixed around here or to be moved around here because it's protruding too much right here so I'm gonna select one and if you notice if you select one of the grid line there's a dash line at the back right here meaning that it will it's saying that once you move this if we move it now all of them will move so it's just a quick way of aligning everything else and then because we put it exactly in the middle if not for you you just need to select those and then you can nudge it in place so you can use your arrow keys in your keyboard to nudge it in place so here I'm nudging it in place like that and then press escape and then escape again let's add in some dimensions so here you can type in DI or this icon usually this icons are above here but I just added right here so that everybody can see my screen so now I'm gonna zoom in and then I'm gonna click on the grid line one at a time and then now you put the overall so those are the dimensions again right here I'm gonna add in dimensions on all grid line and then add an overall and then I'm gonna zoom in these are the grid lines for this so I'm gonna zoom out and then now we need to go to our elevation first so that we could fix our levels so before we add any um, walls um, we need to fix our elevation first our levels so that we can let um, Revit know that I only want it to be on this height to this side so now I usually click on south elevation but you can always click anything here it will be the same so here I have level 1 in 0 and then we have level 2 so now I'm going to change level 2 I just want it to be at 3000 or 3 meters so now it's go down and then now we're going to add another one so you can select this again and then click on copy so there's multiple ways of adding and then you can even type so we could type in 3000 again and it will create level 3 
you can undo that we're, we're just gonna undo that there's another way of adding levels it's under architecture and the icon on the right side which is the level icon you can type in LL and here you can also add it a level 3 and if you notice it giving you dimensions and then we could add level 3 instantly the difference on the the first one and this one is because once we create level 3 if you notice level 3 in the floor plan is uh, instantly added here if we do the copy if you notice once we select that and then just click copy and then type in 3000 if you notice there's no level 3 right here so if you do this the the way that you will need to see or you'll be able to see the level floor plan level 3 is you need to go under view floor plan and then select this level 3 and then you'll be able to see it right here so you can either do both or you can either do one but it's up to you um, at least you know the difference on when adding just a copied or doing the level itself so either way it's good there's just an extra step when you're doing the copy command right there but almost the same um, way so now here what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add in another level so now I'm gonna do the level command leveling and I'm just going to zoom in and I just want to add 600 so negative 600 press escape and then escape again the only issue now is it is referring to level 4 which is incorrect um, also as you can see this is this is showing like this um, we want to change this a little bit so I'm gonna select that and then here you can add elbow there's gonna be a zigzag a small zigzag right there once you click that it will create an elbow and you'll be able to grab this and you can you'll be able to stretch it out so that everything is um, noticeable and nothing is overlapping now I want to change this name to ground so I'm gonna put in ground all capital I'm gonna say would you like to rename res corresponding views um, if you say yes it will rename this to ground um, if you don't want to it will just leave it like that but I'm gonna say yes and then it will be name as ground and it will um, go to a different um, sequence now so now um, if you notice if we go to ground um, and then if we go to level 3 everything is showing um, if you have this not this um, grid lines not over for example level 3 it will look like this as you can see there's no grid line showing right here so one of the reason for that is because this is not pushed all the way up like so and this one as well so now it's showing and this is showing as well so those are the things that you just need to stretch out so that everything is showing on your level so now we could start adding some um, walls so we're gonna start off by clicking on wall under architecture you can even type in WA and then here what we have is a basic 
generic wall 200 millimeters um, what you can do is I know for newer Revit you don't have the generic model anymore right there so now you can even click on one of this edit type and then duplicate and then we could just rename it as exterior wall number one press OK edit and then here we could delete all of this except the core boundary structure and core boundary those are the things that you cannot delete here and then now here in terms of thickness I'm going to put it at 200 millimeters and then in terms of material let's put gypsum wallboard after that press OK and then OK again now we need to set up the height as you can see base constraint is level 1 and then top constraint is unconnected so now here we can change it right here or you could change it right here as well so either way it's the same so I'm gonna cha change it to up to level 2 click apply here and then as you can see it will be changed here as well under here uh, we also have wall center line so that's good and then change is already checked so we could start adding so we're gonna add the first wall here at A1 so I'm gonna click A1 up to A4 and then going down right here up to D4 and then we're going to delete this um, wall later on but I just want to add this one for now so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click up to D2 so D2 is right there and then here we're just going to pull back around 1750 and then going back again here up to the number one grid line and then after that all the way to A1 again to close it off press escape and then escape again so we have our exterior wall um, we're also going to add an exterior wall right here so I'm gonna click it again CS that's create similar or this icon so basically once you have something that is already put in um, it's easy to uh, re-add it so here I'm gonna use exterior wall again instead of me clicking wall again and then looking for dot wall it's easier to just select that knowing that I know that's an exterior wall and then CS and then here I'm just going to click it from B3 so A3 up to B3 and then going back here to B1 so those are the exterior wall so we're gonna stop here for now and continue on the next video thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video please hit like and subscribe feel free to comment down below